Hi, my name is Dirk Baker. I'm an application scientist with Campbell Scientific. And in this video, I'll show you how to install the new SoilView 10 soil profiling sensor. Uh, to get started, I'll show the installation kit that's an option to purchase, and then proceed with augering the hole, uh, installing the sensor, and connecting it to a data logger. Okay, so here's the installation kit that you have the option to purchase. It comes packed in a bag similar to this and includes a clean out tool. I'll show you more about that later. The auger bit itself, the shaft for the auger, the handle for the auger, a couple of rods to help take the, the auger back apart once you're done, and then a hex tool and a handle for the hex itself to drive the sensor into the ground or screw the sensor into the ground. So you can start by assembling the auger. and then you're ready to go. So first thing before augering the hole, I'm gonna hold the soil view up next to the probe and mark a spot on the auger shaft so I know when I've gone deep enough. To begin with, I'll talk a little bit about the SoilView 10 itself. This is the one meter version. Uh, both versions include measurements uh, of temperature, water content, permittivity, and electrical conductivity. At, um, in this case, five centimeters, 10 centimeters, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then 75 and 100 centimeters for the one meter version. So when you're set up, uh, if you've picked your place to, to auger, make sure you get it pretty straight up and down and try to be as consistent as possible um, and not move side to side while you're installing it. Some of that motion is going to happen um, and it'll be okay, but try to minimize that. So we'll get started. And this will be a repeat, repeating process of getting a chunk of soil out. And I like to use a plastic bag uh, to save some of the soil in case I need it to pack around. And this is where this clean out tool comes in handy, is just to push it out of the auger bit. And this way, if you have distinct layers in your soil, you can keep track of what soil came from, from what depth. And especially that top layer is what we might need to kind of pack in around the top of the probe. Okay, now that we have the hole augered, it's time to install the sensor. It comes with a plastic cap over the cable connector. It's good to leave that in place until you have it all the way installed just to keep soil out of the connector.
and get it started by hand. And then go ahead and use the hex tool. Okay, once it's a ways in, I want to clear a little bit around the top of the probe to leave room to install the cable. And keep some of this soil so you can pack it back in, back around the top. Okay, so the sensor's all the way in, we're ready to connect the cable. So we'll pull that plastic cap off and get the cable. The cable is keyed, so look for where that is and where it is on the probe. And go ahead and get that good and snug finger tight. Now we're ready to connect this up to the data logger, but before I'll do that, I'll go ahead and fill in soil around the top here. Make sure you use the soil you removed from that top layer, just for consistency. Okay, so Got the logger all set up, got power ready, power is disconnected. We'll go ahead and string our cable over. Make that meet, neat later. Then we'll bring it in. There's a label on the cable. And I'll tell you wiring, but we've got a shield is clear, a ground is black, 12 volt or 9 to 30 volt, volt is brown, and then the signal SDI 12 is white. So I'm going to go ahead and connect all these up. Our default program out of shortcut uh, puts this on switch 12, so that's where I'm going to put my power line. Just to save power, and you, most soil measurements only need to be done every half hour or hour. And then I'm going to put the signal wire into C1, matching my program for SDI 12. And then all you have to do is connect power and check your measurements. And to finalize the installation, you'd install ground, stake the feet of the tripod, and probably put a solar panel on it. That's it. Thanks very much. <laughs>